Brain machine interfaces, a technology that marks the beginnings of a new kind of man, the cyborg, the robot man. Neurorobotic technology can be applied in different directions. The brain controlling the machine or, inversely, the machine controlling the brain. So we're just going to go through each one of these arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just do all of those and help us do it. But a third option is also possible. One brain controlling another brain via the interface. How does this work in the case of the robot rat? All you need, in fact, are three well-positioned electrodes. Two electrodes in the sensory cortex of the rat send stimuli to the zones connected to its whiskers. When the rat follows the signal sent to its left side and turns in that direction, it is rewarded with a discharge into its pleasure zone. This discharge produces a flow of dopamine, providing instant pleasure. This zone is also called the brain's reward center. We possess a reward center too, just like the rat. In the process of creating a cyborg, this is square one. If we send a stimulus to the zone related to the hand, we create a sensation in that area. In the same way, via the motor cortex, we can provoke an involuntary movement. In Boston, the first machine brain interface trials have already been conducted on paraplegic patients. Thanks to an electrode chip called the brain gate, they can operate a computer remotely by thought. So it's no coincidence that these researches are partly funded by DARPA, the US's defense research agency. Neuroscience will bring us the soldier of the future. This is a new deal, gentlemen. Enemy center of gravity is downtown. Should get a good view from here. A remote controlled soldier? A soldier who, in the midst of the battle, can be sent crucial data and information downloaded into his brain? A soldier who can control his fears? a reward center too, just like the rat. If we send a stimulus to the zone related to the hand, we create a sensation in that area. In the same way, via the motor cortex, we can provoke an involuntary movement. <laughs> you little <laughs> shoot it us! You little <laughs> die!
We are going to reach a level of control. The more we learn about the brain, the more researchers discover how little our consciousness and will control our choices and behaviors. Our way of living might be completely transformed by the convergence of neuroscience, genetics, and nanotechnology.